Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Oh, there they go. There they go. So me and Justin are going to spend tonight baking because Skylar just got called into work. And I've already made some amazing banana bread here. Chocolate chip banana bread. And then I'm going to make blueberry banana muffins, which will be gluten free. As well, I'm gonna try making some more of my cookies. The coconut oil ingredient I had in the last batch wasn't my fave, so I'm gonna try some vegan butter. And I will post the whole recipe later. Also, this is the best Christmas song that was ever written. We have the fire going. It is Christmas Eve and we have some snow outside. That is a Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada white Christmas. <laughs> this is Randall. He'll be joining us tonight and for the weekend. And these are Skylar's amazing Christmas decorations. I baked an insane amount of stuff for our guests. And I actually had two sugar cookies myself because you know what? Balance. And my coach said I could treat myself a bit. But I've also had some eggs this morning already and I'm having this lovely oatmeal and then we are going to the gym and my parents are going to be here in the afternoon and we're gonna go for a little Christmas stroll tonight and we're gonna have a Christmas tacos for dinner because that's what we want to do We decided to actually put on Christmas music. It's one of my favorites. Anyways, I've been cleaning for pretty much 48 hours nonstop because my parents are coming here for Christmas. And you think you live a clean life when it's just you and your partner. I mean, we're, we're very um, particular and super tidy, but it's a whole next level a, when your parents come to visit you, but B, when your mom owns her own cleaning business that she's run for over 15 years, and you used to work for her, so you know what her idea of clean is. And also I used to live with her as she's my mom and she raised me, so they're on their way. It should be here soon. <laughs> Christmas. Um, we just got back from Denny's with my parents and I indulged in peanut butter toast. I really didn't go crazy. I did tell my coach that so far I've had a bunch of cookies, shortbread cookies, with almost every meal, but he gave me a thumbs up, so I'm still good for another eight to ten hours. Now we're gonna go for a Christmas walk in Stanley Park, which is really close to our apartment. Wow, 
Well, I did it. Uh, it is Boxing Day, and I think it's close to it's after four. So it took me this long to finally get myself to the gym, but I did it. And I really didn't want to. I kind of felt sick actually because I went all out yesterday and the day before with my vegan, my vegan cookies, and we made a vegan pumpkin pie. Vegan shortbread cookies, vegan brownies, and I mean everything was really low sugar, but it doesn't matter. I went, I went nuts. And after three weeks of eating really clean, I feel like a major food hangover today. It's a real thing. So I'm doing my cardio today, the first session this week of three, and I'm doing back and biceps. So, it's happening. So I'm back from the gym and I'm of course glad that I went. <clears throat> it wasn't so bad but now of course I am cooking and doing my meal prep for my first day back to work this week. And I'm so sick of thinking about food right now. I don't even want to think about eating tomorrow. I'm still recovering from from the last two days of eating and I like have had zero appetite today so I've really only eaten one meal out of six today and I'm going to try and eat one more after I finish packing my lunches for tomorrow. Lunches being plural because at work I eat four meals and then I come home after my workout and have two more. So. That's happening, and I've got, believe it or not, white fish in the oven. I'm trying to get back on the horse with the white fish because it is the best protein for what my goals are right now, which is to lower my body fat, but also get enough protein to either maintain my muscle mass or potentially grow a little bit more muscle. So it's a great protein for that, but fuck, I don't know. We're gonna try it though. We'll see. Surprise, surprise, I am headed to the gym. Um, and today I have not felt good at all. Actually, I haven't felt well since following Christmas when I had a diet break and lost my mind momentarily and got delirious and ate a million shortbread cookies and vegan brownies um, so I'm paying the price needless to say not feeling the best but just powering through hashtag first world figure prep problems I'm gonna make it I've also been advised that I'm supposed to start tanning already for my contests which is not for 13 more weeks I'm not big on tanning anymore. I used to do it back in my high school days, but I've since stopped. But I'm also going on my honeymoon in like a week, so I figure I might as well get a little base tan going. So today will be gym, tanning, potentially laundry when I get home, but who knows. I also only ate three of my four meals today so far, so I just cannot eat anymore right now or I'm gonna chuck my Christmas cookies all over the stair climber so wish me luck we're just on our way to see my coach finally since it's now just raining and not snowing anymore and I have no idea what he's gonna tell me I think I'm gonna have to be in my bathing suit for him to get a look at my progress and I maybe he'll weigh me and maybe we'll go over some stuff from my workout plan I have no idea but I am very open to change right now because I especially with my diet anything to do with diet change I'd be very excited about at this point and also just at the gym because I like to try new things so I will let you know how it goes you're still in it. <laughs> so we got back from my meeting with my coach. It's 
Skylar's <laughs> being noisy in the kitchen. And I got a belated Christmas gift. <laughs> I got a belated Christmas gift. He's so sweet. Because he knows that I'm getting really sick of the white fish, he got me a whole bunch of different really amazing seasonings that are low sodium, zero calories, zero carbs. And we have, let's see here, Taco Tuesday, a Fiesta, and tangy, sweet and tangy, I don't know what that one, that's pretty much what it's called. Garlic lovers, lemon garlic, and a Jamaican jerk seasoning. So that's pretty exciting. So I am going to give Whitefish another try and try using these seasonings and see if that makes a difference. Give fish a chance. Anyways, so that was our meeting. Oh, and also he told me that he might do a couple tweaks to my diet, but he likes what he sees so far and we're both in agreement that I've definitely seen some gains in my shoulders. I've not lost a single pound, not even an ounce. I'm exactly the same weight I was three weeks ago, but I have lost about 2% in body fat, so I'm down to 20%. Woohoo! <laughs> and so that's also great. And so he thinks that I probably won't lose a ton of weight. I'm just gonna change my body composition, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Right? So all good news for a Thursday. <laughs> I did forget to mention last night that my coach gave me an extra five minutes of cardio per session. So still three times a week, but now for 35 minutes. And I don't think he's really going to change any more than that. Maybe he'll add in an extra day. But, it's so good. And since it's Friday and my last session this week, I'm going a little extra harder. Because, why not? So it is Friday night and I'm doing my laundry. I think my expectations of this process would be that my body would be changing really rapidly at this point or you know just at all i have noticed gains in my shoulders my upper body and with that i've had some gains in my lower body fat but that's fine also my coach added in a few more back exercises for my lats which i'm really excited about um, so starting next week, I'll be able to include those and I'm just going to stick to the plan as closely as possible before my honeymoon so that I don't saboteur myself too badly while I'm gone. Most people do not go on a vacation in the middle of their prep, so um, it's just the way that it is. It's happening, so um, we're going to make it work. But I'm going to wrap up the vlog and tomorrow is officially the start of week Five, which is crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to go to Mexico. Have a safe and happy weekend, and I will see you in the morning.